the temporary restraining order that was put on the Center for Medical Progress has been lifted. We still have free, free speech in America to, do, to a degree, thank goodness. And that now will allow us to see the interviews with the workers at STEM Express, the ones that they've been trying to suppress for weeks now. So there's more to come. But let me say this before we go and begin to pray or begin to hold our signs. These videos, as powerful as they are, are going to cease. These videos that have aroused the American conscience are going to end. These videos, as powerful as they are, and as graphic and as disturbing as they are, at some point the news media is going to ignore them. My question is this. When it's all said and done, when the videos are gone, when we're no longer hundreds in the street and 320 na uh, national protests of Planned Parenthood, I challenge you, and you, and you, and you, will you come out here when it's not popular to do it? And it is unpopular to come out here day in and day out, and there are people that do it all across America. That's the challenge I give you. Don't leave today thinking that you're done. This isn't going to be it. This isn't the thing that's going to end the killing. It's the day-in, day-out commitment of pro-life Christians and others across America who stand in front of Planned Parenthood abortion facilities and other abortion facilities and pray and sign up counsel and picket that's going to bring an end to the killing. Yes.